Piers Morgan had to reassure Joan Collins that Line of Duty star Martin Compston did not wish her any harm after he appeared to snub her at the National Television Awards earlier this month. Piers Morgan has revealed that he had to reassure Dame Joan Collins that Line of Duty actor Martin Compston did not want to kill her, after he was seen performing a throat-cutting sign with his hand at the National Television Awards. The TV personality quickly set the record straight. Telling the legendary actress that it had everything to do with football and nothing to do with her. When Joan Collins arrived on stage at the NTAs, she received a standing ovation from the audience as simply the best played out in the auditorium. However, eagle-eyed viewers of the televised ceremony spotted the 37-year-old actor, who was sitting down in the front row, performing the sinister sign. He was in fact reacting to the song that was being played as she made her way to the podium. The track is the anthem for the football fan's rival team. The 56-year-old said he found Martin's action baffling as he had known the Scottish actor for a while, after he starred in Piers' soccer aid side a couple of years ago, and thought of him as a nice bloke. In his column for the Daily Mail, the former Good Morning Britain presenter said that he had spoken to both Martin and Joan, 88, in order to clear up the matter. Recalling a conversation with the Dynasty star a day after the award ceremony, he explained how Head had to reassure her of that fact. During a dinner date, Piers asked the actress if Shed enjoyed the event. Well, the standing ovation was a wonderful surprise. She exclaimed. But then I looked down and saw this line of duty actor sitting there scowling and cutting his hand across his throat and couldn't understand why he wanted to kill me. I burst out laughing, Piers wrote. He doesn't actually want to kill you, he continued. That's a relief, Joan chuckled. What does he want? Piers explained that Martin is a Celtics fan and rival team Rangers have adopted simply the best as their anthem.